Okay, so in this lab, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a rig for this character. Now, we're going to use it, uh, create it using the bone tool. And what we need to make sure that we do when creating this is that our waist becomes our root joint or our root bone. And this will allow us to animate the um, character here um, very effectively. It cannot be any other joint. It has to be the waist. Otherwise, it will not work right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got my layers here all set up. Um, I do the legs first because they're the most tricky. And the first thing I do is I just slide them out of the way. Um, as weird as it is, it's, it's just sort of how it works. Um, it just makes it easier when using the joint tool. So I'm gonna, or the bone tool. I'm going to select my bone tool. I'm going to click on my waist. I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on nothing. Click on my waist. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to go to this leg. Then I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to go to this leg. Then I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to go to this leg. Okay. Now what I'm going to do from this point is you'll notice everything becomes on one layer. Okay. I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, what I'm going to do from this point is I'm going to click and drag from my, my root joint. You know it's the root joint because it'll be red. It'll have like a red square on it. I'm going to go to this part here, then I'm going to go to the next part, and then I'm going to go to the next part. And now what I can do is I'd like to make sure that this is all working correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and seems to be working just fine okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my free transform tool and I'm gonna make sure I like where all, all the positions of my joints are which I do in this case in this one I'm gonna slide this one a little bit over here and in this one I'm gonna slide this one a little bit over here if you're having difficulty um, moving around your pivot points at any point right click snapping and you can turn all of these off by default I think align grid objects and bitmap pixels I think those are by default um, anyway you can turn all those off what I want to do next is because they all become on one layer you'll notice my waist my right leg here or my, my waist and my left leg here I don't need these anymore I'm going to delete them yes because I don't need them there and then my right leg here I don't need either okay because it all converted into this one layer. You see all these highlight here? I'm going to go character. I'll just call it character for now. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to select on this and I'm going to do modify, arrange, send to back. And you're going to see it's slightly shifted. Um, I don't know why it slightly shifts. Send this one to back. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and shift it right back into place. Same thing here. Modify, arrange, and I can just do send backward too. That that works as well. Modify, arrange, send back, send it back, whatever. Okay, so now when that's said and done, I'm gonna bring this over here and just double check. And I'm gonna make this pivot point a little bit higher here. Okay. And I'm gonna take this one modify. I'm going to send this one all the way to the back. Arrange, send to back. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to take this. For whatever reason, they're all connected, so they now, um, so I need to make sure that uh, when I'm doing that, I don't know exactly why it does it. It just does it. Bring this up. Okay. Now that that's done, I want to go ahead and double check these. This is a really crucial part so that's working just fine my, my legs working right okay check this one this one's working just fine too all right so that's working good now the arms again I'm gonna go ahead and drag these off okay and now from this point I grab my bone tool I'm going to go from here to the shirt. Now from the shirt to this, to the next one, and to the next one. Same thing with this one, with this side. Go here, here, and here. Again, 
go ahead select your your layers I'm gonna take my hand here modify arrange send to back now that's not I didn't want to exactly send it all the way to the back because oops in this case it goes all the way behind there so let's go modify arrange bring forward and now let's go ahead and test the arm it's working it is just working just fine just gotta make sure you keep that arm planted but it's working okay and then I just wanna bring it modify arrange send backward and now I'm gonna test it one more time okay perfect alright that works now I'm gonna take this one using my free transform tool and I'm gonna bring this one over here and this one I'm just gonna go modify arrange send to back and this one modify arrange send to back and now I'm just gonna go ahead and check this one working just fine alright and then one last thing I'm gonna grab my bone tool one last time and I'm gonna go from this joint what I wanna make sure oh not that joint I'm not going from my root joint I'm going from my spine here I'm gonna go from this one to the head and I just wanna make sure that it didn't interfere with anything and it works just fine okay cool so now that I've got that all ready one last thing I want to do put that arm back in place rotate down something like that that's what I want it to look like and test the head now okay perfect all right, and if I go into my properties, if I click on the joint itself, I can start to I can pin joints, um, joint rotation. I want to keep it on. Maybe I don't want this to um, joint Y translation. Um, so you can change a lot of these different um, settings here. Um, and with that being said um, you have just basically created your first rig and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and delete these your first full character rig and I'm gonna delete these now I only have my character on stage delete these and I'm gonna take this character now I'm gonna save it and there's my recovery file in case I need it um, and I'm gonna call this uh, bone rig and save now last thing just in case I saved it just in case anything funny happens Adobe animate um, it's really good but sometimes in rare cases you know it's always just really safe to save often as we all know anyway. The last thing I want to do is I want to make this a symbol and I'm going to go ahead and name it in this case character. There's just, he's just generic guy. And then I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to give myself layers or layers frames. And this is going to be my character. And now I can go ahead and start to pose him out and just make sure it all still works. And it's working perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna just—I'm not doing anything in particular. I'm just gonna do uh, a couple poses just to make sure he works. Right. Let's go ahead and bring that arm back over. Ooh. <laughs> That's not going well. There we go. There we go. And if if you're having too much trouble just grabbing it from like the wrist or something, because what this is is an IK setup. This is an inverse kinematic setup and um, it's not an FK setup so um, grabbing it from the wrist works but if, if you're getting too much pull and tug you'll see I'm gonna go here and you're gonna see boom 
just really easy animation now look how beautiful that is just for the the ease of it it's not difficult at all to create these puppets um you're just going to pose them out uh create um whatever kind of poses you want really quickly really easily um take the guy's head move it that way maybe here i'm bringing it this way and yeah, so you can do tons and tons of animation really, really quickly with a setup like this. It makes animating much easier, much um, more quick. And let's go ahead. If I show you, if I grab the root joint here. Oh, that's the spine. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Zoom in. If I grab the root joint here. What the root joint will do. Looks like I grabbed the. Whoops. The root joint really, you shouldn't be able to do anything but this. That's it. Just rotating around. So, um, that's how you'll know you got the right joint selected. It should not be able to do anything else. Um, I'll be able to. Whoop. Wrong joint selected. Rotate his body. And you can obviously, like, as we set up the arms and the legs, you can create more spine segments through there if you needed to. Um, so there is a really great uh, skeleton rig setup. Um, I just want you to get this rig set up and need it to uh, work correctly and have all the joints in the correct spaces, points. Um, hey, that's my dog in the background. Um, anyway... Uh, that's all I'm looking for for the lab, and um, thanks for watching. Make sure you get all the joints right and all of the um, uh, parts moving correctly. I shouldn't um, see any errors in the in the rig setup at all. Uh, any questions, shoot me a message, and uh, yeah, have fun. Thanks for watching.